Once you finish with your flash piece and have fully tested it, you will want to publish it. Publish it Publishing it is a means of exporting your Flash piece into a form that can be delivered. And there are a number of different choices in Flash. You go to File, Publish Settings. We can publish it as a Swift file, which could be delivered via the web and linked to an HTML file. The Swift could also be run off of a hard drive, CD-ROM, or some other drive. We could create a static GIF or animated GIF, a static JPEG, static ping. We could also create what's called a projector. A projector does not require the user have the Shockwave plugin installed on their machine because the projector would include that. So the projector is an all-inclusive projector, it includes everything that is necessary to run the piece that you've created. The disadvantage is that they are platform specific. You'll see that there is a Windows projector and a Macintosh projector. For this example, we're just going to be looking at creating a Swift file with the embedded HTML. So we've got both of those selected. The file name and the location is determined in this area here. So here's the file names. We can pick the location, and I suggest you do this to make sure it's going to go where you want it to go. So even though it shows as a desktop and I click on save, it gives me that full path. Same thing here for the HTML. I want to put that to my desktop, click save. So for sure, it's going to go with these file names in this location. Now, as you click on some of these different types of published settings, you'll see that additional tabs will appear at the top. These are settings specific to what you've selected. So if I'm interested in Flash, I get the Flash tab. I can go and set specific things for that Swift file. I can control how my audio is going to be exported, the quality of any images that's going to be in there, what Flash player is going to play for, so on and so forth. If I go back to the formats and pick the HTML, I get an HTML tab. I can pick other kinds of things as well. In this case, I'm going to get rid of the loop so it doesn't continue to play over and over. And I can pick how it's aligned, uh, quality, and other things there as well. If I simply click on OK, all I've done is set my published settings. So if I were to go back in and look, it kept my settings, kept my file names, kept that I did not have the loop selected. So once I get there, I'm going to go ahead and tell it to publish. It'll go through, create the necessary files, and then save them. And if we take a look, and here is my original test FLA. Here is the Swift that it created, and here is the HTML. The Swift could be opened up in the Flash Player by itself. The HTML, this would open up in your browser, and then with its linked to the Swift, would play that Swift within that browser. So there it goes. And that concludes how to publish your piece in Flash.